Ah, Miss Green Peel, come in. Please take a seat. I don't bite. Uh, thanks for the invite. I like your new office. Palamon Pictures proved to be very generous in my renegotiation. Oh. So I have a tough day ahead of me. Chris has given me all of the failing entries in my sonnet assignment for further review. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, so you'll excuse my brevity and disconnect. I'm only trying to get through the day as efficiently as possible. Of course. Now, when it comes to your sonnets, I am inclined to agree with Chris's comments. Chris's? That's not possible. She loves my work. I don't mark every assignment, but based on your grades to date, <laughs> I don't find very much evidence of that. What? And this final assignment is no exception. We found it uninspiring, to say the least. I don't understand. Georgia, we all have times when we lack inspiration, but reading your work, I found lazy, predictable rhymes, multiple lines conceived just to fit the structure. It's like you don't care. I care more than anyone. Then show me. Professor Tudor's in her office? Oh, it's you. Will we or won't we already? Will. Huh? William. Mary. She's with another student. Sit down and be quiet. You're not very charming, you know that? Charming's a verb. What? You're using it as an adjective, but verbs are always stronger. Charming is a verb. The reason why you don't find me charming is because I'm not trying to charm you. You should be much more wary about charming people, William Shakespeare. I'll keep that in mind. For example, I find you absolutely charming, which is why I don't like you at all. Thank you. You're welcome. Is Will out there? <sighs> Alas, he is. Let's get this over with. You can see how let's get this over with puts me on the defensive up front. Please take a seat. What shall I do with it? Sit on it. Oh, that's not very creative, Professor. I can think of many things one may do with their seat that don't require... I'm not in the mood. Evidently not. So, to what do I owe this pleasure? The sonnet assignment. Ah. I assume it was about the form. <laughs> or lack thereof. The sonnet had form. Which one? My own. <laughs> you can't just do that. Why not? A sonnet has a clearly defined structure. No, it doesn't. Beg your pardon. It dates back from the 14th century. Two quatrains, one sestet. It's been unchanged for over 600 years. But before that, it was different. It evolved over time. It was perfected over time. Poetry shouldn't be perfect. It should be a big, sloppy beast tripping over itself as it flails through the annals of time. It should be alive. Philip Sidney said the same thing. And he made Dean's List last year. And he still failed this assignment first year. What does that say about this assignment? If this invented form of yours is you trying to make a, a point about the way I teach... I structured it that way because it was the most appropriate way to convey my meaning. In your opinion. This is creative writing. You can't homogenize everything in an, and expect inspired work. I don't like your tone. That's what everybody says when they're losing an argument. I didn't invite you here to argue. Nor did I arrive here to argue, Liz, yet here we are. You failed the assignment. It's great, your creative will. But you have to prove you know the rules before you start breaking them. I disagree. Well then, perhaps... 
this isn't the right place for you. I'll give you two weeks to give me a sonnet that follows Petrarchan structure. Otherwise, we'll have to reassess your place in this program. I figured you'd be pissed. Don't even talk to me right now. For what it's worth, I think you should take the fail. Why? Because C's get degrees. And because whatever you choose, you'll learn your lesson. What? Was this whole assignment some test? Uh, yeah. It was an assignment. Look, if you fail, you fail. But if you compromise, who will you be? I guess I'd be you then.